Two weeks from today, something that doesn't very, uh, happen very often will happen, a total solar eclipse for people across the United States. Here in Pittsburgh, we'll see the moon block about 80% of the sun. So what does that mean, and what is the best way to see it? And David Highfield is here with some answers for us, new at 11. David. Yeah, Ken and Julie, this is pretty cool. The last time this was visible in the United States was 1979. I was in elementary school, and let's show you the path for this one. They will see a total eclipse along this path. It's going to start in the west, just south of Portland, Oregon, then run over uh, Casper, Wyoming. St. Louis is right in the path. Nashville will be the largest big city that's close to Pittsburgh, and then it'll go over Charleston, South Carolina. And while Pittsburgh isn't on this direct path, that does not mean we'll miss out. This is a solar observing telescope. Astronomy educator Ralph Crew at the Carnegie Science Center is getting ready for a rare event, a total eclipse of the sun in part of the U.S. Along that path, it'll actually get dark for a bit, like twilight in the middle of the day. Here in Pittsburgh, it'll only block 80% of the sun's light, but it'll still get a little dark here, right? You won't really notice. Well, the thing is that the part of the sun that is still remaining is still incredibly bright. So um, if you had a light meter outside, you'd be able to tell that the, the light was dipping. But our human eyes, you know, we adjust to the brightness and you wouldn't notice it. But oddly enough, you might feel it. It affects the, the air temperature a little bit, so a couple degree drop in air temperature can be expected in the afternoon. The moon will actually pass between the Earth and Sun. There are some ways to see it here, just don't look directly at the Sun. We really uh, discourage people from looking directly at the Sun. At the Science Center, they'll have different types of telescopes. This one specially equipped with a funnel. We project an image of the Sun on this screen here. You can also get special eclipse glasses that block out dangerous rays. It's a cloudy day today. Okay, yeah, I can't really see You can't see here. anything. You can safely watch by projecting the Sun through a hole in a card. As the moon crosses, you'll see a crescent appear. Or by projecting the image into a box. You would have a pinhole poked in here, okay. and then you look in it like this. Yeah, that works too. Now, it's not that the sun's rays are any more dangerous during an eclipse. You should never look directly at the sun. Now, the Science Center will make a special day of this, including a live feed from NASA showing the eclipse as it passes across the U.S. And if you missed this one, don't despair. There is another eclipse in 2024, and that time it's going to pass right over Erie, PA. Ken?